Mr. Speaker, over three million people have now fled the violence in Ukraine. Civilians are being bombed in their homes and even in hospitals. They are desperate for support. Economic sanctions are a strong tool we have to force Putin to stop committing war crimes. However, the sanctions announced by this government won't have the desired effect if they are not properly enforced. Will the minister commit to the NDP ask for ownership of assets to be made public and tell Canadians how many Russian assets have been frozen since the most recent invasion of Ukraine? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I want to thank the member for that question because mm -hmm. the reality is this is an egregious invasion by Russia into Ukraine, and we are using every economic tool that we can to ensure that we punish and suffocate Russia. So over 500 individuals and entities have been sanctioned just in the last three weeks. We continue to do that. The, the systems are in place to make sure that we follow through on every one of those sanctions, and we will continue to do everything to ensure that Russia is suffocated while we continue to support Ukraine in all its efforts. Thank you.